And welcome now to the change of command ceremony for the Concrete Republic's Air Forces. We thank you for the life that we celebrated here today, the life of General Fred Arcabana Sr. And we thank you for the companionship that we treasure and love here on this little island. Thank you, God, for all you do. And the people said, Amen. 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 It is my pleasure and my honor at this point to introduce David Paul Horan, Secretary of the Air Force for the Cop Republic since day one, since dive bombing the roadblock in Florida City, our own Secretary of the Air Force, David Paul Horan. Thirty-one years ago, we declared our conch rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of conch happiness. The first Prime Minister of the Conch Republic appointed me the Secretary of the Conch Republic Air Force, and I had the pleasure of appointing Fred Cabanas as its first Commanding General. Commanding General Fred Cabanas was recently lost in action, and it is my distinct privilege and constitutional duty to appoint Fred Raymond Cabanas, Jr. as the new Commanding General of our Conch Republic Air Force. Susan Cabanas will present General Cabanas with his new coat of office. Introducing you to General Cabanas of the Conch Republic Air Force. And now I will call on Admiral Fenbar, the commanding officer of Conch Republic Military Forces, to read the orders. This is a great day and a hard day. Very hard for me to say farewell to my beloved friend. Comrade in arms, General, General Fred Cabanas, Sr. I will now read his orders. Orders from the Conch Republic Military High Command to General Fred R. Cabanas, Commanding Officer, Conch Republic Air Force. You are hereby relieved of command of the Conch Republic Air Force and ordered to immediately proceed west to Valhalla, where you shall join with history's great warriors and to take your place at King Mel's Round Table. On behalf of the citizens of the Conch Republic, I express our gratitude for your service in the defense of the Republic. May you enjoy eternity. So ordered. Rear Admiral Holden, uh, Vice Admiral Holden, uh, will you uh, present the General's orders? They're in. in you can. To General Fred R. Cabanas Jr., General, I would like to present you your orders, sir, and I would ask you to please read them for us all. Thank you. Orders from the Conquer Public Military High Command to General Fred R. Cabanis, Jr., Commanding Officer, Conquer Public Air Force. One, report to Air Force Headquarters and assume the duties, privileges, and aggravations of the Commanding Officer. <laughs> Two, defend and protect the honor and territory of the Conquer Public. Three, keep some semblance of honor. Four, conduct sufficient floggings to maintain high morale. <laughs> Five, eat your spinach. Six, do not report anything to the Supreme Commander which may aggravate him. Good luck with your mission improbable. Admiral Finbar. Rear Admiral Groskup. Detail. Present the General with a sword of command. Very well, sir. General? First thing we will present you with is a challenge coin of the military forces of the Conch Republic. Hold this in your hand. This is to remind you to do the right thing at the right time for the right reason. And as long as you carry that coin, you always remember that phrase. 
detail, the can salute, feel. It is with this sword, a symbol of your command, we present to you. Two. It is yours to keep, sir. We appreciate your service. Return. Commanding General Fred R. Cabanas, Hot Republic Air Force. Secretary General, Secretary of the Air Force, citizens of the Conquer Republic, I accept this promotion with a promise. A promise that one day a year, the Conquer Republic Air Force will rain toilet paper down on the evil and imperious forces of the U.S. Coast Guard. They will tremble at the sound of our air wing overhead. They will cower at the amount of the Charmin two-ply covering their decks. We shall assert year after year the independence of our island nation. I will continue to patrol and protect the skies of Key West from malevolent forces as my father did before me. And on this day, I promise to continue the tradition and honor of the Conquer Public Air Force. Of course, the family of General Cabanas for being here today. Kelly, yeah. Susan, General, we share your loss, and we also share your future. Thank you for all that you do for our little country. Eyes right, coming out of the northeast. At a blistering 80 miles an hour. At a blistering 80. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I'll go ahead and narrate right here. At a blistering 80 miles an hour, 0 0.0001 Mach. Here comes two Waco UPF 7s, both built in 1942, and the pride of our Air Force. My flagship and my secondary flagship, the Conquer Public Air Force. It says public speaking classes in college. Well, at least Dad's money paid off somehow, right? In the Conquer Public, we salute with the left hand to keep. Our right hand available for a drink or greeting a new friend. The Conquer Public Air Force stays, uh, you know, semi formal slash formal. That's how Dad always did it, so I wasn't going to change it. Nice touch.